your training become a wrestler? Where did you train and how was it? Oh, it was fantastic. I, me and uh, me and Dino, we trained over at this defunct uh, wrestling school now, sadly, uh, called the Rudos Dojo in, uh, mm-hmm. in La Mirada, California. Originally started in Santa Fe Springs, if I remember correctly. But Revolution Pro was a place that started off with a lot of people. Uh, what eventually became the Pro Wrestling Gorilla was originally the Revolution Pro. So you got your Super Dragons, mm-hmm. you got your Excaliburs, mm-hmm. Uh, you got uh, a lot of Southern California talent at that time. And uh, yeah, we went through the training process. It was fun. Uh, they trained you in the American style. They trained you in the Lucha style. They trained you in the Japanese style. And at the time that they was uh, making a note for themselves, uh, they, they was nothing that anybody had seen at that time because everybody was just doing the classic American style, doing the mm-hmm. Lucha style. They weren't mixing it up well. And uh, yeah, so uh, my trainer was American Wild Child, <laughs> and uh, along with a disco machine and the occasional hand in with uh, Mr. Excalibur and, and Ultra Taro Jr. These are local names, some you know, some you don't. And if you don't know, you should do the research. But Revolution Pro was, uh, it was definitely a homegrown talent, a homegrown gem. And uh, sadly, it's not around anymore. And uh, somebody took the name in the future. I don't know who they are, but yeah, the, yeah. Revolution Pro was a was a great place, and uh, we made a lot of friends there. Awesome, awesome. And when it came down to like when you made your debut, what was it like for you to come out of the curtains for the first time? It was it was different. It was very very different. Um, I said, okay, this is not training anymore. <laughs> you are going to have to actually wrestle. <laughs> Do not ruin your britches and just try to win. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's definitely a thrill. It's a little scary. It's definitely fun. I know for a fact, and it still goes on today, uh, I cannot sleep the day before a show. Like, I get the most four hours at the, at the most. And I'm just ready to go because I'm excited. I'm like, okay, what are we going to do today? What's today going to hold for us? How are we going to win? And, uh, you know, who, who, who are we going to make a fan of today by being our wonderful self? So. Mm-hmm. And also, like being, like, being a wrestler, you know, was there any film that you'd watch on wrestlers to get inspiration on your ring style? A lot, actually. I mean, uh, at, and in our time, in my time, the uh, olden time now, uh, there was tape trading, like legitimate video cassette VHS tapes. And we'd either go to the Frank and Sons collectibles in mm. the city of industry. Industry, and yeah. We'd talk to Mr. Pat Howard, Larry Rivera, and we'd get our, our, our Japanese compilations. We'd watch the Pillars. We'd watch the Territories as well. We'd either watch... Misawa dropping Kawada on his head, or we'd watch uh, Dick Murdoch drop Ted DiBiase on his head on the concrete with a brain buster. So, <laughs> like, it was just, it was always something else. It was a, a mixture of things. And uh, whether it be from the West Coast, the East Coast, overseas, or in somebody's backyard, there's always ideas somewhere and there's always ways to do them safer. Mm. And, but also, there's always ways for you to do them a little more dangerous, just to the point where you get your point across and your hand raised. Mm-hmm. And also, like, what's your favorite like style? Is it like the lucha libre style, the technical style, or all of them? It's definitely all of them, uh, and and all for a particular reason. Like, lucha, as wonderful and, and spectacular as it is, uh, a lot of people associate it with you know the arm drags and the dives and the high flying. But lucha libre has some of the best technical wrestling that you could find. Like, if you were to put that's mm-hmm. a, there's a reason why. You see them clips from the 70s. You see Mil Mascaras. You see Dos Caras. You see all the luchadors over there in Japan, and they're working completely different from how they wrestle over on the television in Mexico. But they are showing people what the true Lucha Libre style is, which, yes, it is flashy, but they can take you from a straight-up lockup into just flipping you upside down and holding you and spreading your legs and stretching you out, and then there's, oh, there's the camera. Let's pose for it. Like, <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> and then you got your uh, your classic scientific wrestling. You hold the holds, trying to break down your opponent by feeling out the process and everything like that. And then you got hostile, 
which mm-hmm. I mean, I'm a sucker mm-hmm. for hostile. I, I love me some classic hostile. I love the Bam Bam Gordons. I love the Steve Williamses. I love the Mike Awesomes. I love everything about it. it it's just, just got to be something to it. You can't. Not everybody needs to be Haystacks Calhoun. Not everybody mm-hmm. needs to be Big Daddy from the overseas. <laughs> like, you know, you, you got to offer your own flavor to it. I mean, you take Superboy, who was a big boy, but he could fly better than anybody. And then you got your, uh, I mean, you got your, uh, <laughs> I know a, a fella that used to come around championship, Mr. Johnny Yuma. He loved him some mm-hmm. uh, Mabel, some Viscera. And this mm-hmm. threw one of the best kicks I'd ever seen from a gentleman that size. And you got your Yokozunas and your John Tentas. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. all had their own flavor to it, but they were still big boys and could not be easily moved. So I love professional wrestling. So if I were to say a particular style, I will just say wrestling is my favorite style. <laughs> because there's always something different. There's always That's something true. to offer. And you're going to find something wonderful in any, any type of uh, – of division or genre of it that you look for. Oh, absolutely, man. 100% agree with you.